But today, it's like every other business, everything you're getting tied up with red tape. It's the old days, I could show you an, ex an expense book that I used to keep way back in 1946. You just kept an expense book, balanced up your takings, you knew your profits at the end of the year. You just handed that into the solicitor who used to do our little bit of income tax and all that. Today? Then would you take a letter to the inspector of taxes? We have a secretary, Michael Inglesby, and I'll tell you something. Without him, we wouldn't even consider leaving our winter quarters. Because it's all, everything today is paper. There's so many things, PRSI, income tax, various things, balancing the books. It's a full-time job. And that, ladies, gentlemen and children, brings this performance to a close. We sincerely hope we have brought some little enjoyment into your life this evening. This is Edward Fawcett on behalf of the Fawcett families, Artis and myself, thanking each and every one of you once again for your very kind support and wishing you all a very good evening. May God bless you all. The National Anthem, please. From the time you get up in the morning until you go to bed, you have a busy day until showtime. Then you have two shows. And for me, now I'm getting a bit, a bit on, and I stand roughly four hours a day on my feet, which I've done now for over 30 years. But uh, it's good life. But it's still, it's, you still have, have a worry. You know, it's uh, a lot of responsibility. You know, it's all right for uh, people to come in and sit and see all the glamour. It is glamorous. I don't suppose I'd ever have any other life. But it has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. One of the biggest problems, putting a tent up and down in windy weather, especially taking it down, it is an art in itself. Because you must remember, if the wind gets in underneath that big top, especially if the wallings are down. She could just take off like a kite. I've seen, I've seen quite a few of them go, the old two poles. But uh, it's very hard, especially when you get a wet night, windy night. The ground, you're up to your eyes in mud. You're plodding through the mud. You're trying to get all the equipment loaded and try and get the tent down safe and secure. Sometimes I think we must be mad to be in the business, but uh, I suppose it's our life and we know no other.
I don't know why I stay in this kind of business. Uh, it's maybe because it's just it's a tradition that's been handed down. My father has done it, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather. Uh, it's something that's born and bred into you. Once you're in it, you can't, you can't seem to leave it. Uh, I have a three-week-old son, and hopefully in the time when his time comes, he'll also carry on the tradition. <laughs> My first grandchild, he's a born clown anyway. I know I won't have to worry about him because he is a clown as he is. But uh, my, my new, my new uh, grandchild called after me and my dad. Uh, I hope he will continue the name. It's very hard to think what will happen in the far future. Nobody knows, you know, but I hope that the name of Fawcett will still be prominent in another 50 years' time. It's a very puzzling question about what is it with a circus. It's a very hard question to answer. I suppose, first of all, we were born into the business for generations. We know no other. It's the outdoor life, I suppose. It's the ups and downs, and no matter what happens, the show still goes on. You have big problems, you have small problems. It's like in any walk of life. But yet, with all the hassle and all the hardships, we wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs>